Congdon and I'm here talking to Christiana Rekova about her documentary Die Grube. Hiya, it's Hi. lovely to talk to you. Um, so this film takes place I believe in your hometown in Bulgaria, is that right? Yes, in Varna. And what was it like for you to film something that was sort of so personal to you and what relationship do you have with the area and Die Grube in particular, so this, these baths? Yeah, it, um, it's a place I I hardly knew. Um, I knew that this place exists, but um, I, there were rumors. Uh, mm. they were, it had a bad reputation. And uh, during my childhood, during my, my school time, I, I never, never went there. Mm. And I had never been there because everybody said it's a disgusting place, it's unhygienic, and there are yeah. really strange people, who, crazy people. You better avoid this place. So I had a lot of prejudice uh, about the place. I, yeah. I never. I never been there actually. I just walk, walk walk aside and go go further. But um, but um, for three four years ago, I was walking there uh, on the side on on the beach side, and I saw it uh, once again for the first time after many years. And I saw this place, and um, what I saw wasn't <laughs> disgusting at all. It was beautiful. Uh, there was this this little concrete pool just on the beach and um, full with steaming water. You hardly saw the people who were, who were there inside because there was so many steam on the water and, uh, and uh, behind them is just a sea, an infinity sea. It's yeah. really great. <laughs> Bagaria si moita strana, Bagaria le cone e cattiva, da se ti vito e te desta, e snai ci vuote con te prodino, e vece no gastra si settina, e coco tu da schita un po' se miata, e coco tu da sesta un cacciotti, it's funny you say it had a, a bad reputation because the, the film is a, is a beautiful portrayal of this space. Why, why the bad reputation? Then? Because uh, people say that um, that there are it's not a regulated place, the water just flows and mm. um, the people, th there is no regulation in, in the form of uh, nobody, there is no a hygienic um, institution that take care of it. Mm. There are only the people who are there, the volunteers, the, the locals who, yeah. who bath there, they, they take care of the place and um, many people uh, go there for a walk and see this naked old people and they think it is not, not a nice sight. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I think it's at the beginning of the film that one of the guys kind of cheekily says that it's nicknamed the source of Aphrodite. And then it does seem that across the film, a lot of the um, characters that you focus on have some sort of romantic or sexual relationships that have started in the baths. Why do you think it, it has that impact or influence on people? I don't know. It's maybe it's an intimate atmosphere at, at the end. Um, you sit there and it's romantic and you see the, the swans in the sea and mm. you see the infinite sea view and you it's like it's it's just so great you sit there and just uh, get romantic get intimate conversation maybe and i think it's yeah it's logical that some 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 of these things uh, happen yeah <laughs> then. and it, is it largely older people then that go there is there anyone from younger generations that some young people go there? there also but it's majorly um seniors yeah yeah um and there is in the film there's this group of men that go there um for sort of sexual pleasure but also um as uh, gay sex workers and um, looking for sex um and i thought it was quite interesting that it seemed like a very safe environment for that so they seem very open discussing the fact that they do that um, and it, they sort of proposition people quite publicly. Is it quite a sexually safe space? Is that fair to say? Um, sexually safe play, uh, space. Um, 
maybe in, in this space, yes, because mm -hmm. it's dark and uh, they are hidden there. Yeah. But um, generally, uh, it's not social, really social accepted thing mm -hmm. uh, to be queer at, at all. As it's not yeah, well, really that's, that's what I was thinking. Mm, is not really. It's not socially accepted not in, really. in wider Bulgaria. No, not so, really. So why do you think it's sort of a, a safer space in, in this particular environment? I don't know how, did, how this developed, actually. They, they, because they, it's, it's a romantic place and uh, at the night it's dark and you can hide there and you can, and you can feel free. Mm. Um, I guess that many, of, many gay people just search for places to... because it's not socially accepted, because uh, they need to have their clubs, yeah. You need to have your your bars, your clubs, your your safe spaces, really. And uh, this developed to such a space because it's isolate, isolated at the, at the evening. Mm, people are maybe afraid to go there at night because it's too dark. You don't know what what could happen there. So um, some other people, uh, communities, have uh, decided maybe to to use to take use of it. Yeah. Yes. Um, were people quite comfortable to talk to you about about the sort of sex work and sexual relationships developing? Because people seemed quite open in the interviews that you carried out. Yeah, they were quite open. Yeah, because I, yeah, but they wouldn't during the day. They wouldn't go to the to to the pit. They do, mm. wouldn't go there, and they wouldn't talk to me like this. If the other guys, the other guys who are batting there. Uh, in the day, if they were there, they wouldn't speak to me. I guess okay. uh, it, I think it's because we were unter uns. Um, we were just by ourselves. Just, just ourselves yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, and Bobby is one of the um, guys who goes there quite a lot. That's the right name, isn't it? Yes, Bobby. Yeah. Um, and I found it interesting that um, he's homeless at, mm. when we first are introduced to him and then mm. at the end of the film he's got a roof over his head um, I think with a, a partner that he's currently with um, but he still says I kind of miss I miss the bars I miss the environment of the bars and do you think that there's something quite liberating about the bars and the role that it plays in society I think the bar, the, the bath is um, for me personally. I I have the feeling it's really a place for personal freedom. I really ha have the feeling that when you go there, you can be your just yourself. It doesn't matter how who you really what you work. It doesn't matter who you actually are in the society uh, there. Uh, you take your clothes off. You go inside in the water and uh, you talk to people. You you talk to to this to this guy who is. LKW fahrer, or do you talk to this guy who is uh, a doctor, mm. um, and it's the great thing about this. They, it, everybody feels like um, um, gleich, um, yeah, the same. The same. Mm. When when they are in the water, and you feel, and, and this is liberating, kind of liberating. That that's right. Um, and Bobby said uh, he is, um, he just enjoys. The, um, the sights he gets from from people, from other people who are uh, like the the still, the quiet um, talks, the quiet conversations. Mm. Um, it's just the atmosphere that he loves about the place. It's not only um, a sanitary facility for him. For for him. Yeah. And did you stay in touch with um, the people that you interviewed? So, do you know what Bobby's doing now, or mm. any of the other individuals you spoke to? Yeah, we are expecting Bobby to come to the premiere. Oh, really? uh, not premiere, but the, 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 the day after that. Yeah. Um, uh, I hope uh, everything w will work fine. Um, and he's coming together with Dimcho and Boncho, the other two uh -huh. protagonists. Yeah. I'm really excited how it will that, that work. Because Have they seen it before? Uh, no, uh, uh, some of them okay. saw it, but they didn't know each other. Yeah. Before the, it's the night oh, and so the so day. They'd, they'd never spoken to each other until you sort of yeah, brought them actually, together. Yeah. Okay. So I'm really excited how will that work. The, yeah. the one side, the night side, and the day side together. Yeah. Which, so was that was it always quite different people then? The people he visited at night and the people who yeah. came in the day. Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. And what about the? Was there a gender divide, or was it very much men and women would use the baths together and also talk to each other? 
Uh, can you please repeat? This? So was was there a gender divide at all? So I think you you focus more on the male individuals at the bars, but the, it, women go there too. Is yes, that right. Yeah, yeah, yeah there, there are also women um, there, um, and but not so many as the men. The majority are men, mm. um, and they are more active at at the at the pool. They're mm. just more active, and it was it. We were looking for protagonists who tell interesting story backgrounds who have who are who, who identify strongly with the pool and um, in in this case the main um, protagonists were had a stronger identification with the pool so mm. that's how it yeah came to, to this that we only have uh, male protagonists yeah yeah but there are also women who go there mm. not so many um, did you ever go to the bars, or were you, were you only filming and interviewing, or did you ever actually go into the bars and talk to people just on a casual social basis? Well, uh, also yes, I was there. I was budding there, and uh, I used some opportunities to just be there without the camera mm. and to, to talk to the people. Um, but yeah, it took a while. Uh, but I, at one point, go, went inside, and it was so great. It felt so great. Yeah. This water. Why did it take a while? Were you nervous? I don't know. Yeah, it kind of. And I was really, I had to still these prejudices. Because they say, ah, oh, the water, you don't know what swims in this water. You don't know what's inside. But it's nothing. It's really great. It's yeah. really fantastic. Um, and you said before uh, that it's all different kinds of people there. Does that mean that there's no, there's no kind of class divides or class prejudices uh, in that space? Maybe, maybe, of course, there are some groups who are gathering together who have common values, common, mm. I don't know, uh, interests, and others who, not everybody are friends there. But um, uh, in, in general, everybody has the same right there at, yeah. at the pool, and that's the nice thing about this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and the, throughout the film, there's quite a lot of criticism of the increasingly conservative Bulgarian government. Uh, I was just wondering if you could give an overview of the impact that that conservative government is having on Bulgarian society generally. Well, um, it's a really general question, a really difficult question. I, I just feel I'm not living there and that's why I'm, I'm, I just um, uh, I avoid, avoid talking about it. But um, my personal um, observation is that there is a diffuse um, there is a diffuse um, unzufriedenheit, um, uh, like unhappiness, unhappiness um, about the way the system works, about the way, about the living conditions, about a lot of problems about the juristische system, juristische like system, the like system, yes, system. Yeah. yes, mm -hmm. and um, a lot of people are not, don't. I think a lot of people don't feel. Mm, don't like the way the this um, the way they um, don't think that does the regierung uh, government. the government I don't think that they believe in the government really um, I think they feel sometimes let off them um, and and there's multiple individuals in the film who were affected by that so there's the guy who loses his property. Uh, and at the end of the film, the um, baths have been privatized. Is that right? Yeah, the, the yeah. baths are still not privatized. Oh, okay. It's still not uh, sure what will happen with it. But it's mm, very, very. Uh, uh, we, we expect that they will that something will change really soon. Um, that uh, they will be paid. I don't know, privatized or from the or the city will maintain them. But mm. maybe they will be paid. Not. Still not sure about this. What will happen? We still don't know. Don't know this. Um, and Gennady, um, who was affected, who lost his his soul. Mm. Um, yeah, it's a speculation. We cannot prove this. Uh, mm. It's just a speculation. But it's um, it's the opinion of people who are living there, who know their country really well. Yeah. So, yeah. And. Um, in relation to that conservative government, what impact does that have specifically on the LGBT community? So you already said that um, it, sort of homosexuality isn't very widely accepted. Can you elaborate on that a bit? Mm. Yeah, um, I think it's um, 
it's not yeah, it's not illegal. It's not socially expected, but it's not illegal. Um, and um, I know that there was prime minister had said uh, that we the society is still not ready to legalize marriage. For example, okay. the society is still not ready, and it's I don't know I I I wonder if this is the way we have to think about it. It's not the way the politics has to make a step to get this society ready, to make more steps towards. Um, mm. it's, I'm not, I don't think that this is a, a big issue for them still. As a, it's not a brennendes uh, Thema, it's not a big issue. A um, like burning thing. Yes, yeah. 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 It's, a, it's a conservative society still. And mm. Is that, is that changing at all? Is it becoming more conservative or less conservative? I, I'm not sure. I, I really don't. Cannot. Um, I cannot say. As, as, uh, I, I'm really shocked from uh, a lot of hate, of hate speech um, in in internet on social media. A really shocking speech from young people. Um, mm. It's um, it's strange that that these comments are not deleted. Or, so it's yeah. Really, yeah. Um, I don't know what's the tendency. I really don't know, but it's shocking big percentage of people who are not uh, dealing with the idea that there are such people, that they exist, that uh, people are, uh, that we, that, that people have to have the, the same rights. They can mm. deal with it. And uh, so there's a discussion of uh, gay sex work in the film. I wondered, is, is that legal in Bulgaria and how is it perceived? Uh, the the work there mm, yeah. no it's not legal no uh, I don't know how they maybe they um, they would be become a strafe uh, mm. if they would like be, they would be arrested yes but mm. I don't think that they will be caught so so is it something that people are aware happens um, but it's not really spoken about yeah I guess so yeah. And in the film, we only ever see gay men. I wondered, is the treatment or um, sort of acceptance of gay women any different? Oh, it's like, uh, I guess like everywhere in the world, um, they are more accepted than, than gay men. Um, but it's nevertheless, uh, it's, it's socially not really, uh, not really accepted. It's not a normal thing there. It's a <coughs> heteronormative society. We, we live in, there in Bulgaria and uh, it's, you feel that when you're there. You, you feel the strange sights. Uh, you feel that you cannot be so free. You cannot be really free there. Um, of course, in, in, uh, certain, in certain Kreisen, mm -hmm. also in certain circles, circles and certain mm -hmm. circles, certain bars, certain places, but there are still places. Yeah. Um, and what do you predict is the future for, for these baths? So you said it's unclear about whether they're going to be privatized. What, what do you think the impact would be on people's lives if they did become mm. privatized? Yeah, I guess a, a lot of the seniors who go there won't be able to pay a uh, tax mm. to go there. And now, at this moment, I, I have the feeling it's a really important place for them because they, they spend a whole day there. It's, it's, they they uh, need this also for their health. And uh, I think it would be a really negative impact. It would be a really sad story if they, if, if they don't have the opportunity to use it. But I hope that um, the taxes won't be too high. It's mm. one thing. Or maybe there will be, uh, maybe it's free for seniors. I don't know. I hope that uh, it will. The, these people, they are the soul of the place and I hope that they stay there so that this place uh, really stays, stays the way it is. Yeah, because they seem to have a huge amount of character. I mean, the yeah. place itself and the people you spoke to. Um, yeah. yeah. Thank you so much for, for talking to us and, Thank you. and sharing some insights into the film. Thank you.